Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Really excited for today's beer for a few reasons. One, it's a ridiculous name and uh, uh, can art. It's called Juice Bigelow Hop Gigolo, a juicy India pale ale. Very appropriate with the print and everything. <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, it's from Rochester Mills. And I don't think I've had anything from them, but I'm very familiar with them. So this beer comes courtesy of Brad Allison from 31st Brewing. Um, uh, I've talked about him a lot in this channel. Uh, him and his wife do a lot of reviews. He does the home brewing, the meal, all that stuff. Great guy. I'll link to him in the description below. I'll definitely check him out. If you watch my stuff, definitely watch his stuff. He's way more knowledgeable about beer and all that. So um, I remember them talking about this beer. Well, not this beer specifically, this brewery. And I think Tyler, I mean, I've definitely seen some other stuff from this brewery. But anyway, they do a like Christmas stout release where there's all these variants on this stout. And um, it just seemed like a cool idea. They, they reviewed them all. Anyway, so Juice Bigelow, Hot Jiggle, as I said. Um, it has a Best Buy date. I find that, like, these beers from the, the out west of where I am, they don't seem to be big on dating things. So I like when it's canned or bottled so I can decide what I think. But anyway, it's got a Best Buy, uh, May, June, July 22nd. It's the beginning of April, so I don't know if they're doing a six-month thing, but uh, whatever. No light, no oxygen. I think it's going to be super fresh. Here's the other reason I'm really excited. <clears throat> I've never seen, at least in real life, a can top like this. And I'm thinking it's going to pull the whole top off. And I could just drink it like this. Without having to drink it through the little hole that's normally there. I like pouring beer into this is everyday goes. I love pouring beer into a glass and drinking it. So I will look at it, drink it. But I'm not gonna lie, I might drink the rest of it out of the can. I don't know yet. I put it back up there just to say, let's open it. Feel very full. I just love drinking out of a glass. <laughs> I'm not gonna front. Maybe the last swig I'll drink out of that. So um, definitely hazy, right? That's what it says. Hazy. A ju I'm sorry, juicy India pale ale. So definitely. Looks juicy. It's hazy. Maybe a little. No, I guess you can't really see through it at all. Nice yellow, sunshiny kind of color. Just slightly off white head. Small to medium sized bubbles. Not quite soapy. Looks good. Let's get into the aroma. A little, a little herbal note. Citrus. Especially like the the uh, peel, some lemon specifically, a little orange for the citrus. Yeah, more citrus than like tropical. Smells good. Is it's... Oh, there's something nice. Candied, <sighs> candied strawberry almost. Yeah, smells good. It's good taste. Cheers. It's pretty good. Good level of bitterness. Some of those flavors are coming through. Is it heavy ABV? 6% ABV, 69 IBUs. So yeah, good bitterness. Makes sense for oh yeah, duh, 69 IBU for the name. So ridiculous. <laughs> Definitely get lemon in the taste, citrus peel, a little bit of strawberry in the finish. Some grapefruit. Yeah, definitely citrus forward. It's good beer. When I hear juicy IPA, I don't know, for some reason I think tropical. This is definitely leaning more citrus. Definitely a good beer for 6% ABV. I could crush a couple of these. Definitely nice warm weather, lawnmower kind of a situation. But yeah, good stuff from Rochester Mills. 
Thanks for sending it, Brad. I really appreciate it. Uh, check me out on Instagram Untapped. You know, happy reviews of both those places. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.